Who's your favorite quarterback? Is it Russell Wilson? Is it Pat Mahomes? Is it Lamar Jackson? Is it Kyler Murray? Well, guys, this video I'm about to tell you what all these guys have in common. Just tune into this video. What's good guys? It's your boy TD and I'm back again with another video from Fantasy Good Sports and today's video is going to be on Pat Mahomes and the reason why Pat Mahomes is one of the top three quarterbacks in the NFL. Yes, I said it. The reason why Pat Mahomes is one of the top three quarterbacks in the NFL. So guys, let me give you some preferences before I break this, break this down. The reason why Pat Mahomes it's, it's just not because of talent, guys, that makes him who he is. It's other things that makes players great. Talent doesn't do it, guys. It's other circumstances. So, let me give you my first reason why Pat Mahomes is a top three quarterback in the NFL. And my first reason why Pat Mahomes is a top three quarterback is, guys, throwing from different platforms. So, guys, if you have a child and you are want him to play sports you want him to play different types of sports because it teaches him to make plays or football play from different angles and different platforms so you see guys like russell wilson kyler murray pat mahomes even justin herbert and some of these other guys throwing off one foot throwing leaning back Throwing a side on angle. Guys, so it teaches you to be able to keep for velocity on the ball and throwing from different angles. Some quarter, like imagine Phillip Rivers running to the left and having to throw a ball, run off his um, left from his left side and have to throw an accurate ball. He can't do it. Now, that's not knocking Phillip. I bought up Phillip because I know he's a stationary quarterback. He's a pocket quarterback. But guys, those type of guys are getting phased out of the game. You're going to have to be able to be moving in the pocket and make plays, even if it's underhanded. I said what I said. You're going to have to see, because these defenders are 6'7", six, 6'6", six, six now. And they will beat your ball down. So I don't care how tall you is. Sometimes you got to go and maneuver between two players and make a throw side on them. Or you might be leaning on your left foot and have to throw the ball with your right hand or vice versa. Or you or just get ready to fall out of bounds and throw it. I seen Pat Mahomes jump and make a throw. So guys, always, if you want your son to play quarterback or anybody that's grooming to be a quarterback, you have to be able to be accurate under pressure off different platforms, no matter what the situation is. So you have to learn how to throw from these different angles. So guys, let me move on and give you a more defined, um, some more defined points. So the next reason why I believe uh, Pat Mahomes is a top three quarterback in the NFL, guys, is he's a multiple sport athlete. And this kind of goes in with my first point. So by Pat Mahomes being a baseball player, playing second base, shortstop, and third, Guys have taught him to throw unorthodox throws and make it be accurate with with our uh, velocity. That's just what it is, guys. So that no longer a quarterback holding the ball high like this and just throwing it overhand is a great quarterback. No, that's no longer a great quarterback. You have to be able to move, guys, and f off left foot make that throw. You remember, you know, like if a, a shortstop goes in the hole, backhands the ball running towards third base. He has to have enough strength and enough accuracy to throw that guy out that's running down first base line just very fast. And that also, that type of attributes teaches you to do that with the football. That's why you got Russell Wilson and Pat Mahomes being so accurate off different platforms. Also Kyler Murray. Also other guys, guys. So this is the new type of prototypical quarterback that you want. You want guys that can move in the pocket. And also, guys... Pat Mahomes is um very athletic. Like you would, he's not, listen, he didn't time like he timed like a four eight, four seven, something like that in a 40, which is no, that's that's not fast. But guys, it doesn't matter. By him playing multiple sports, he just he's quicker than maybe more than just being speed, like having speed. He's very quick. 
Um, you seen him play in the Super Bowl last year. He had good runs. Even in the playoffs games last year, he had like a 30, 40 yard run. And you would think that would be happening by like, Lamar Jackson or somebody like that. No, guys. There's other guys. There are guys that play baseball that is reinventing the way quarterback play is played in the NFL. I said what I said. So these are the guys that you want, guys. You want a guy that can throw from different platforms. He don't need the pocket to be clean and sweet for him to make plays. So let me move on to my last and final point, my third point, guys. Reason why Pat Mahomes is a top three quarterback in the NFL. Now, a lot of people would say he's number one, and that's fine. I, I just wanted to preface the top three because there's other very, very talented quarterbacks coming. And, and they're in the NFL balling out right now. So I'm just not going to say completely that Pat Mahomes is the best quarterback in the league. Uh, there's so many circumstances to that. So, but the third and final reason, guys, is backyard football. Now, who would have ever thought backyard anything would teach you to be a professional uh, player in a um, in a pro setting, right? It does, guys. You've seen Pat Mahomes sitting around waiting for Tyreek to come way across the field. He telling them to do this. He telling them to do that. He telling them to come closer. Running, running, running. Give it a run and bounce. Make a little throw. Underhanded, backhanded. That's, that's backyard football, guys. So it teaches him to be an improv. So it's basically like acting. So if you know acting, the, uh, they, the acting teacher might be like, okay, guys, we at a store. I want y'all to argue and argue over a burger. Ready? Go. You got to improv. You can't say, well, let me study my lines. Then what do you want me to do, coach? No, you have to improv. So the play that the coach drew up is covered. It's terrible play. You get blitz. You can make that blitz. If you make that blitz some uh, miss, get outside the pocket, Tell a guy to cut across and go opposite of what his route, original route was, and he gets open. The defensive coordinator like, oh, my God, I don't even know what I'm going to do. So, guys, those type of quarterbacks are very dangerous. That's why nobody can stop Pat Mahomes most of the time. Eight times out of ten, he coming out to give you 400 yards, guys, because he's he playing backyard football and you can't get to him. And he's athletic enough to make people miss. Throwing off different platforms, making accurate throws, guys. Sometimes I feel like Pat misses. I you know he very rarely misses, but I've seen him miss players when he just stationary in the pocket and just all you gotta do is just throw the ball normal. I seen it in the Super Bowl. He could have had jitters, but I felt like it was just like he needed to be touched. So as he got hit in the Super Bowl, he just he started getting okay. Yeah, this is just like backyard. So I'm just I'm gonna run around and make plays. And once he started doing that, it opened up the whole offense, and then they shot up. They went on, what, uh, 21 points in the fourth quarter? Playing backyard football. Only backyard football can give you 40, 50 points a game. 40 points, 50 points. Guys, so playing a stationary offense where the quarterback is not moving, it's play action, you stand in the pocket, those offenses aren't as lethal as the guy that's improv like Russell Wilson, Kyler Murray, Pat Mahomes, even Lamar Jackson. Those guys are improv and trying to make plays. So this is the way you want your new quarterback to be, and these are the quarterbacks that you're looking for. And, guys, you know I do fantasy football. So in fantasy, if you can't move out the pocket to make throws and, and, and make plays on a secondary break for us, the first play didn't work, so we need to be able to make a play – outside of the box of the original play, if you can't do that, then you can't be an NFL quarterback. Well, you can't be an elite NFL quarterback. You can be a backup. So, guys, this is the reason why you should take these quarterbacks in fantasy. Make sure your guy is athletic because it just gives him so much a ceiling to make more points, guys, and, and the, um, to create mismatches for the offense. So, guys, I'm not going to hold you up there on this video. Make sure you smash the thumbs up on this video, guys. And also subscribe to this channel, guys, because I'm going to keep giving you cutting-edge information like this. Thank you, guys. Have a blessed day.